the dad need the is to stay safe at home the teachers are consistently working to adapt and make learning through virtual classes with the unexpected covid-19 pandemic and to promote social distancing however the transition to online learning could be a challenging for everyone considering this re genuine reason bld as per college of commerce impom program vijaypur hosting an iqvc initiative one day national level webinar on arming for greater success as this webinar is an event held on the internet which is uh, attended exclusively by an online audience firstly i would like to take this opportunity to welcome our today's speaker who is an eminent scholar corporate trainer author motivational speaker so ladies and gentlemen he is none other than dr shiva prasad director of ss technology hyderabad welcome you sir it's indeed my proud privilege to introduce about resource person dr shiva prasad had his education in agriculture did his msc and phd from indian agricultural research institution new delhi dr shiva worked for 14 years with public with both public and private sector organizations including icar itc monsanto cynamid agro bsf and irri presently runs his own firm ss technologies helping people and organization becoming better and greater through training services and motivational sessions the list of his clients includes universities colleges management institutions business schools ngos and government departments and corporate companies he trained more than 2 lakh people across the country through his training programs he is a motivational speaker delivering regularly keynote speeches and guest lectures and inspiring people to achieve more and enjoy their life better he posts his videos on his youtube he posts monday motivation saturday stories unstoppable up updates and mantras for success of students and faculty members you can subscribe to it and take the benefit of the videos that shiva sir is posting on his youtube channel he is the author of the book what thought eight thoughts that make you feel act upon and get you the result he is also the author of his forthcoming book unstoppable dealing with the ten uh, topics of executive and entrepreneurial excellence excellence Uh, with this brief introduction, I present before you Dr. Shiva on the screen, sir, from the core of my heart, on behalf of entire family of S. Pali College of Commerce, my hearty welcome to you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, a pessimist complains about the wind, an optimist tries to change it, and a leader adjusts the sail. The change for this particular notion, where adjusted by a person, is not only a great motivation. all of us but a visionary and a person who gave us the feeling to bring together this event he is none other than our principal dr h m mujawar sir my sincere welcome to you last but not the least i would like to welcome all the participants from different colleges from different uh, districts from different universities from different states and even across the country also is teaching and learning staff students special uh, invitees guests for this live webinar let's make this webinar a great success and let's create a history thank you one and all dr shiva sir now the screen is yours thank you ma'am thank you very much good morning everybody good morning good thank morning. you thank you for joining us on this webinar i welcome you all and i would like to take this opportunity to thank bldea associations as portal college of commerce principal dr professor mujawar saab and uh, professor bharti ma'am for giving us this wonderful gift wonderful opportunity of coming together talking to each other and learning from each other today thank you i am super super excited and the topic of the webinar is arming arming for greater success arming a r m i n g arming for greater success 
एंड अभी देख रहा हूँ अभी तक देर आर मोर देन टू हंड्रेड पीपल हु ज्वाइन दस इन दिस मीटिंग एंड इन दिस मीटिंग देर आर प्रोफेसर देर आर टीचर देर आर स्टूडेंट देर आर प्रोफेशनल एंड वी आर पीपल फ्रॉम Maharashtra people from Karnataka people from AP Telangana Tamil Nadu people from Madhya Pradesh so thank you for all of thanks to all of you for joining us in this webinar and specially i want to thank the teachers the professors we have deans in this webinar now we have principals in this webinar now we have professors in this webinar now they are so kind they have participated and they wanted to learn from this they are teachers they have been teaching for so much of time but still they want to come and there are so many students who showed a lot of excitement and participation there are 570 people registered some of them could not join i hope you know they'll also be able to join us as we move forward i want to thank each and every one of you for showing up and for joining here and 80% of the success depends on showing up 80% of success in life depends on showing up and being there at the right time at the right place you show up you are here in this webinar your presence itself is a turning point in your life this webinar could be a transformational point for you in your life i am what i am because of my teachers i had fantastic teachers my childhood I, i was born in a very poor farmers poor rice farmers family mera pita ji ke paas keval 87 cents of land land tha you know but then my father sent me to the school in telugu medium and i used to be very lean and lanky small kid and i remember one teacher calling me to his home and giving me milk with hot legs out of love out of love and my father when he took the tuition fee i i stopped going to the tuition because the tuition fee could not be paid and the teacher called me I said, "Why are you not coming to the tuition, sir? Because I did. My father did not pay you the tuition fee. I I am not coming." He said, "Don't worry. You come to the tuition. I want you to come to the tuition." The teachers like that who showed so much of love, so much of affection, and they took care of me. And thanks to all those teachers, I too have some teachers who said, "Don't come to me every time you have a problem. I want you to solve your problems by yourself." try yourself solve yourself first so that's what also made me i didn't like it at the time but today i love him because he made me work like that i learned so many things i became so strong thanks to all those teachers who made me what i am thanks to all those teachers who made you what you are today thanks to all those teachers who are participating in this webinar today even those teachers had teachers that's why our our philosophy or teacher says acharya devo bhava acharya devo bhava the teacher is god the teacher is like god so with your kind permission i would like to invite i would like to invite uh, miss swarnima to render to sing a prayer in honor and love of teachers good morning everyone guru brahma गुरु विष्णु गुरुदेव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरव नम नराज्ञा चल ज्ञाति ज्ञान मे सुशक्य सहाय चुम्मी यस्म गुरो पाद छायाश्रयो यदा असाख्यम सुसाख्यम चो भवे अनिष्टा च कष्टा गरिष्ठा निहंते वरिष्ठा चेष्टे प्रदा गुरो पाद छायाश्रयो यदा असाख्यम सुसाख्यम चो भवे न यज्ञे न दाने शुद्धा जपेना गंगा सुसंगे न युण्य जाता गुरो पाद छायाश्रयो यदा असाख्यम सुसाख्यम चो भवे असाख्यम सुसाख्यम चो भवे असाख्यम सुसाख्यम चो भवे 
थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच स्वाजी माम दस मैं लोड ये थैंक यू वेरी मच दैट्स वेरी एम्पावरिंग टू एम्पावरिंग टू एम्पावरिंग यू सेड यू नो विद टीचर्स सपोर्ट विद टीचर्स हेल्प असाध्यम विल बिकम सुसाध्यम समथिंग इम्पॉसिबल कैन आल्सो बी मेड पॉसिबल विद द हेल्प एंड सपोर्ट ऑफ द टीचर्स थैंक यू वेरी मच हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू एग्री विद दैट इफ यू एग्री विद दैट प्लीज टाइप इन द चैट बॉक्स यस लेटर यस लेटर यस इफ यू एग्री विद दैट type in the chat box let i s say that yes great there so many people who are saying who are agreeing with that the teachers the teachers are the empowerers the empower them empower you they make you they create you you are like a raw stone and then they make the raw charcoal and they make a diamond out of you it is because of our teachers thank you teachers thank you very much pranam to all of you thank you Let's move further. I have a question to ask you. Who would like to live a life filled with confidence and freedom? Now, at this point in time, who would like to lead a life filled with confidence and freedom? If you want to say, I write the letter I in the chat box. Who would like to lead the life filled with confidence and freedom? If you want to say yes, type the letter I. Who would like to gain some special tips and energy from this webinar today that will put you on a strong footing for your greater success in life? If you want to say yes, please write the letter I, I, in the chat box. Let me see. Wow. Wow. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much, Yogesh Patil. Sanjya Ajra, Krishna Muthi, Ishwarya, Balaji Tharat, Tina Patil, fantastic! Thank you so much. You are awesome. You are awesome, phenomenal. And then you are at the right place today. You will get those things from this webinar. So special tips, special tools you will get from this webinar. And this could be if you use them rightly, you will, you will. move ahead in your life with greater success so let us make a declaration let us make a declaration i all, i want all of you to make the, this declaration along with me say i want to lead i want you to say it loudly though your microphones are muted you can say it so you can hear your own voice say i want to lead a happy life i want to lead a life filled with confidence i want to gain some tools and techniques from this webinar for my greater success fantastic you are awesome that's phenomenal that's why we thought you know this uh, initially we wanted to do this webinar only for the students of as patil college of commerce but then i proposed the idea to dr bharti ma'am why not we do this webinar for people even beyond uh, the bldea ma'am has kindly agreed ma'am has kindly agreed to extend this benefit to other colleges and universities that's how we have taken up this webinar around it across the country this is mainly to help the students and faculty to gain confidence think positive and gear up for greater success in the days ahead in the days ahead now arming for greater success is the title arming a r m i n g arming arms arms ka matlab kya hota hai what is the meaning of arms arms ka matlab kya hota hai chat box mein likh lijiye arms ka matlab kya hota hai arms arms हाथ को भी आर्म्स बोलते हैं हैंड्स और आर्म्स वेपन समबडी सेड वेपन्स पावर समबडी सेड पावर इक्विपमेंट्स फैंटास्टिक रघुवीर सेड इक्विपमेंट्स ओके भावना सेड हैंड्स टीना सेड हैंड्स एलेक्स सेड टूल्स शोल्डर स्ट्रेंथ फोर्स पावर ओ माय गॉड इमोशंस फैंटास्टिक आर्म्स एंड एमनिशन वी से आर्म्स एंड एमनिशन फैंटास्टिक Look at that, arms and ammunition. Yes, 
armor 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 means you know something that guards you that guards you see if you look at from the time the man was born till today over the ages from the prehistory to ancient to middle ages to modern age to contemporary age if you look at man has used a variety of arms to protect himself to survive to protect and to fight to fight the battle to battle with enemy to win and to move forward and to progress in the life to progress in the life if you take the case of look at the way the man has a kept has a kept himself with the arms that are necessary for him to survive and succeed and grow in his life in the stone age when you look at the beginning of the time man used the stone made stone age then you had bronze age then you had the iron age and the man used those made those equipments and the tools which are made of stone bronze and iron and as the medieval medieval ages medieval ages in the middle ages the man had invented the sword the bow and arrows this is the time isn't it in the middle ages that's how the man equipped himself with those arms with those arms to survive and to fight with the enemy to win over the enemy he equipped himself with those arms in the modern day today there are there are f16 aircraft mirage mig and there are aircraft carriers aircraft carriers and there are people with ak47s and there are night night uh, vision wear what not variety of the modern warfare in the modern warfare you know the man has equipped himself with this kind of weapons that's how they can fight with the enemy and win over the enemy now today right now for the last two months the whole world is fighting with the enemy is fighting with one enemy i want you to tell me what that enemy is please write that name of that enemy that you think that the whole world is fighting now what is that enemy could you please write in the chat box yes you are absolutely right is a corona is a covid 19 with which the whole world is fighting with, with the whole world that's how the man progress and today the whole world whole world is fighting with this corona it is there in every country more than 200 countries it has spread and this enemy is an invisible enemy this enemy is an invisible enemy we cannot see this enemy and we were all halted we never anticipated we never imagined that this kind of thing would ever be there would ever happen that we all will be locked down helplessly hopelessly with so much of fear and anxiety we are all locked down in our homes it is it was now endemic and then it has become an epidemic then it has now become a pandemic a pandemic it did not differentiate a country it is a pandemic the whole world is fighting the battle with this enemy an invisible enemy we the whole world is in a state of war hum abhi yuddh lad rahe hain we are in a state of war we are in a state of war without guns and bullets we are in a state of war without human soldiers we are in a state of war without any borders every country is going through this without any ceasefire agreements in a war without a war room in a war without sacred zones and this is a war without mercy this corona has no mercy without any, this has no human kindness humans will have some kind of kindness even when they see enemy they want to forgive they can let them go but this corona has no mercy at all it is indiscriminate it does not differentiate between children women man age whatever it is it has no respect and no intention of regime change it does not want to come in the age old days countries fought the war because they want to get they want to acquire the kingdom they want to gain the rule but now this virus does not want the regime change it is it does not want the mineral resources of the gold deposits that are there underneath the ground it is not interested in religion ethnic issues racial issues no it is invisible it is fleet footed very fast and it is ruthless we are fighting a battle with this enemy now with this enemy now and for fighting with this enemy what is the kind of arms and ammunition we need there is no medicine yet and the vaccine is in the waiting and what kind of 
weapons we have what kind of arms we must equip ourselves to fight this battle and how are we doing it so far if you look at how we are doing it so far india in india we are doing great you are all doing great it's a collective action there's a fantastic discipline shown by the indians the whole world is looking at india how india could handle with a population of 130 crores 1.3 billion people and with so minimal deaths how india is able to do it is fantastic such a discipline and good and we all we have been fighting with this we don't require a gun we don't require a you know a a, a, a bomb for this we require a good personal hygiene sanitizing ourselves quite often during the day and following the guidelines and instructions given by the authorities in whatever the place that you are living in we have been doing it so well so far and that's how we could flatten the covid-19 curve so far so far and the best thing is to exercise patience to exercise patience and that is the weapon these are the weapons we could do it i have complete faith that we as humans will overcome this it is not the first time that the disaster hit the planet earth that the disaster hit the whole world disasters came they were all overcome by the man there were so many earthquakes there were so many volcanoes which exploded and there were so many tsunamis and storms and there were so many tornadoes that have come and ripped to the homes of the people but man had overcome it is not the first time that this has come over the generations over hundreds of years when you look at man has gone through this kind of disasters time and again and every time man could overcome these disasters similar kind of disaster that struck the whole world was way back in 1918 when the world was hit with a pandemic flu pandemic flu and there was a that was also influenza that's called spanish flu that was also caused by a kind of corona virus and that was there for 36 months from january 1918 to december 20 the whole world went through that calamity and population of the death of the world at that time was 1.5 billion now as they can a 7 billion now and that time out of 1500 million 500 almost one third of the world population at that time was infected and they did not properly record how many people actually died looks the numbers appear to be anywhere between 70 million to 50 million those days and but remember those days there was no antibiotic in the world no pencil in the world not much of medical advancements and that is the time but man had overcome that too man was hit you know just 4 years preceding the 1918 1914 to 1918 the world war 1 was fought immediately after the world war 1 this disaster struck but that was overcome that was overcome then we also had cholera we had flu we had spanish flu we had um, bird flu swine flu we had bengal famine and there were so many disasters that man had encountered and man had overcome all of them and i strongly believe that we shall overcome this corona this covid 19 disaster as well very soon very soon. there was a good news other day from that the vaccine had already been almost developed in italy it's a good news it's good news god is there to protect us and he will certainly protect us he will take good care of us he will save us he will save us and he actually 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 maybe few years down the line when you look back when you look back this corona this corona attack on the world could be seen as a blessing in disguise blessing in disguise maybe a bigger disaster is avoided or maybe this has led to so many discoveries so many discoveries how the life can be lived better with more happiness more bliss and more peace and more prosperity this is the maybe an opportunity maybe a stark reminder this is a disruption because man has always come out successfully and come up with discoveries whenever a disruption occur it is a disruption 
disruption in the normal situation when a disruption happens there is a time you start thinking you start becoming more imaginative you start becoming more creative and you discover things that will be a phenomenal that's how the civilization advances that's how i see this covid 19 too drives discoveries advancements technologies so many good things will come out of this covid 19 too and man is capable of bring making this disaster converting this disaster also into an advantage for the human race i believe in it do you believe in it if you believe in it please type in the chat box yes yes look at this thank you thank you very much thank you yes yes great already we are seeing phenomenal transformation it's calling for a digital transformation the world is becoming digital transformation you and i are able to come and see each other like this you and i are able to talk to each other like this you are there in different places otherwise we would not have been talking to each other like this we have we are going online lots of things are happening online now we have seen so many things you know which were which were thought to be not possible or becoming possible now or becoming possible now great great this shall be overcome this shall be overcome but i am saying if my growth or anyone's growth anyone's success anyone's happiness is robbed today i believe that it is not because of corona it is not because of it is not because of covid 19 the real enemy is not the rona today if it is robbing your happiness if it is robbing your success it is something else it is someone else who is that who is that do you know the real enemy of yours restricting your growth making you unhappy making you chained making you stuck who is that i want to see your answers in the chat box ourselves ourselves us wow if we have the will to succeed you will succeed real enemy is our negativity negativity okay our thoughts someone said you go fantastic confidence lack of confidence negativity human only fear fear of failure irresponsibility of ourselves the mindset and undue expectations not being optimistic selfishness oh my god phenomenal arrogant not upskilling ourselves fantastic thank you for your phenomenal participation beautiful superb please participate the more you are involved the more you will enjoy this webinar the more you will learn from this webinar the more you will get from this webinar the more you are involved the more you participate the more you get so please get as much as possible and for that you have to participate you have to participate yes yes the enemy is not anywhere out there the enemy is within within the mind within the mind your mind could be your best friend or your worst enemy your mind has been always giving you suggestions your mind has always been receiving lots of data it does not judge it receives lots of data into the mind takes and you know it takes it it's a database and it it again it again repeats what it received repeats to you and it's you it's you who will be believing it not believing it how you are taking it that's important so it is our own mind it is our own thoughts it is our own thoughts thoughts which will either empower us or disempower us which will put us down or which will lift us up it is our own thoughts in our mind thank you thank you so much so you know our mind is always fed we are fed with so much of information today so much of, so many thoughts are coming into are thrown at us we are fed every minute so much of information is fed to the mind and mind just takes it mind cannot judge this is right information let me let me not but whatever it is you it is how you are responding 
Suppose there is some disempowering thoughts. You cannot do this. You are that. You are this. Negative labels are attached to you. And you cannot do. The future is gone. What is this? Whatever the negative disempowering things that are coming to you, what are you saying? Are you accepting them, taking them? Or not accepting them? If someone gives you, I want to give you a simple formula. Whenever some disempowering thoughts are coming to you and your mind is popping them up, your mind is telling you, when your mind tells you, disempowering that, when your mind tells you those empowering thoughts, what should you be doing? You should be using these four letters, T-Y-F-S. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. I know what I am. Your mind pops up. Oh, you cannot do that. Oh, this corona has come. You are not able to attend the classes. You're not able to take the classes. How the my semester is going to end? Can I, you cannot complete it. You know, the future is gloomy. Whatever this kind of some thoughts, whatever the thoughts that are empowering you, those thoughts are popping up in your mind. Are somebody telling you, you will be repeating, thank you for sharing. I know. Thank you for sharing. Give it yourself. I know what I'm capable of. TYFS. What does it mean? Please write in the chat box, TYFS full form. TYFS full form. Yes. Thank you for sharing. Exactly. Thank you for sharing. The sharing could come from any quarter. The sharing could come from your family members. These thoughts, these disempowering thoughts could be from your friends, family members, maybe from any quarter. Or your mind, which has the database of the past, it has been recording and keeping its memory. And that memory is popping up some of, the, some of those thoughts which are disempowering you. Then your, answer, your response would be, thank you for sharing, I know. Thank you for sharing. That's how you will say, you will start doubting your mind when it gives you such negative thoughts. You will doubt it, thank you for sharing. I don't agree with you, thank you for sharing. That's how you would say that. Right? So, at least, you know, for the last 40, 50 days, we're all stuck in their homes. Otherwise, we're all in a race, busy, busy, so busy that we didn't have time for ourselves. We're so busy doing our routine works, or attending the classes, or taking the classes, writing the examinations, thinking about it, and so much of time and exploring the world, exploring the you know opportunities and all that, but not exploring ourselves, not thinking about ourselves, not thinking about ourselves. So the important thing here is to understand at least I hope you got some time in this COVID-19 period when you are there at your home all by yourself, you got some time to think about the real meaning and meaning of your life. How are you looking at your life? What are your thoughts about your life? What about your thoughts about yourself, your life, your future? That's important. It is the same world. The world is the same today for all of us. But not all the people are looking at this world in the same manner. Different people are looking at this world in different manner. I will tell you a story. A small story, a story from the 15th century. How people are looking at the life. You know, there were some workers working at a small hillock, cutting the stones into small bricks. And some people are coming and carrying those stones. So a gentleman passing by that area could not understand why they were breaking the hill, cutting the hill into stones. So he stopped and he called one of those workers working there and he asked that person, Hey, what are you doing here? And that man said, Don't you see what I'm doing? I'm cutting the stones. And for cutting the stones, I get some money. Understand? I'm cutting the stones. I'm a worker here and I get some wages for this. For wages for this with which I can I can run my family. Thank you. I am cutting the stones. He paused for a few minutes. He could not understand why they were cutting the stones. So he called another guy and said, Hey, what are you doing here? 
oh that means oh i am doing a very good thing here you know my family is very happy and we are living so joyfully you know you know all the money that i get from this work we could we could buy all the household goods that are required i could send my children i could take good care of my family and i have a happy family thanks for this work and this work is so nice it is supporting my family okay he couldn't understand still why they were cutting the stones he called another person baba tell me please what are you doing here that man said you oh, all you know i am involved in a magical thing a wonderful thing you know i am doing such a work which is going to be living even beyond my life which is going to be there for generations which is going to give peace happiness for millions of people these stones that we are cutting they are being taken to build a mandir a bada sundar mandir banne wala hai and where people can come and pray and their miseries will be gone and they will be happy i am involved in doing the work which will help millions of people live happily for years and decades and centuries to come i am involved in that kind of work teen logon se pucha teen logon ne jo kaam wo kar rahe hain वो अलग अलग ढंग से देखे थे उनकी जवाब अलग था इज डिफरेंट इज डिफरेंट इज इन देर डूंग द सेम वर्क ऑल ऑफ दूट इन द सेम वर्क बट देवर लुकिंग एट द लाइफ देवर लुकिंग एट द वर्क इज डिफरेंट द परसेप्शन एब्सोल्यूटली द परसेप्शन वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ लाइफ वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ लाइफ दट यू आर पॉसिंग अबाउट योर ओन लाइफ एट दिस पॉइंट इन टाइम इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट because it's all in the mind it's all in the mind <clears throat> it's all in the mind so we have to be very careful about our attitude our attitude the way we are thinking about ourselves the way we are thinking about our future the way we are thinking about our future and the way we see ourselves in the days to come that's where i want to give a break here and i want to see in the chat box what your thoughts are what your thoughts are at the moment yes please i want to see in the chat box attitudes leadings and predispositions of people stay fit mentally and physically at this time frames of reference do differ different people have different frames in their minds fantastic thank you very much mallap getting success garima says point of view creates a big difference sure absolutely bhavna says meaning of life is whatever you ascribe to it to be fantastic thank you say happy and healthy motivations and aspirations as yes, we have all so many comments coming in creativity praise the lord acceptance g what can kind our of weaknesses at this point in time the prosperity thank you being alive is the meaning being alive itself is the meaning i am alive today sure sure thank you thank you very much thank you now let's look at this picture i will let me show you the big screen here in which zone are you now there are different zones there's a comfort zone there's a fear zone there's a learning zone and there's a growth zone just before the covid 19 hit us before we were locked down our homes we were happily going around to our classes to our schools and colleges and doing our work routinely without any anxiety in the mind we were more or less in some kind of comfort zone the covid thing has come we moved into the fear zone anxiety uncertainty ambiguity not clear pahle wahan china mein shuruaat hua we thought it would not come to us then it moved to a few countries of the out there then also we thought it would not come to us then it landed here it landed in one state in one corner then it moved to other states then in a grip then suddenly one fine morning the nation was put under lockdown status initially to begin with 
Janata curfew on was that when was that 22nd 22nd of March for the Janata curfew one day and thereafter you know gradually every morning every evening we getting so many messages from so many quarters our whatsapp is filled with messages of different kinds of things and we are going through pata nahi ye kab tak hoga kitna din hoga and we got into the fear zone are we still in the fear zone my question is are you still in the fear zone let me see what you are writing in the chat box yes no yes no no okay great yeah oh great yes no problem even if you are in the fear zone yes some people say yes some people say no yes yes okay okay very good but but how long can we be in the fear zone how long can we be in the fear zone from fear zone the next zone is learning zone in this kind of situation acquiring new skills acquiring new skills understanding making making the necessary changes in the way we are living we have adjusted quite a bit we are adjusting all this quite a bit and how can we extend the best part and important part is can you make this make this learning zone as your comfort zone as your comfort zone acquiring new skills going online this is a challenge dealing with the challenge vegetables buying vegetables is a problem or fruits is a problem getting groceries is a problem moving out is a problem going to hospital is also a problem and you cannot move out you cannot do things so many things that you want to do life has become a challenge but can you enjoy this challenge and can you treat those challenges as pleasures as, a, as an adventure as an enjoyable adventure can you can you whatever it now you are in, you are you are confined to your home rather than feeling and discomfort can you start feeling comfortable that's where i'm asking a question can you convert the fear zone and learning zone also into a comfort zone now into a comfort zone be comfortable and start working on this let me see what you are writing in the chat box okay <laughs> december end finally tab tak uske baad until the corona ends yes the important thing is getting into that mode getting into that mode and making this uncomfortable zone as a comfortable zone again my friends it's all in the mind it's all the, if you want to go to the growth zone grow ultimate zone is a growth zone where we all want to go the dream zone where you find your life purpose you achieve your goals you lead the kind of life that you want to lead in order to be in that zone you have to go to this learning zone especially the students in the schools and colleges you are in the learning zone that learning zone is so important for you so important for you in order to move on to the growth zone growth zone so that's where so my question to you is how you are doing in this learning zone this time is a learning time so much of learning so much of learning so much of challenges it is out of challenges that we can find our our true purpose so that's where the fear zone from fear zone we had to jump into the learning zone if you are in fear zone start jumping into the learning zone and from the learning zone you will move to the growth zone so would you be consciously willing to move get rid of those fears get rid of those fears there are certain things in our control there are certain things not in our control if the nation has decided a lockdown it is a lockdown that's beyond my control why should i worry about things that i cannot control what i can control is my mind my mind and the thoughts in my mind how i'm treating myself and how comfortable i'm making myself thank you god for another day in my life thank you god i live this day happily thank you god everything that you are doing is in the best interest of me yes thank you god thank you thank you very much you know what i want you know what the world wants you will make this world a better place to live thank you god and move into the learning zone and in the learning zone you have to learn what are the things that you have to learn that we will take a look at now that we will take a look at now so the important thing is moving there i have a question to you do you know the nation in which people live the longest 
hundred plus years. So many people in that area live beyond hundred years, hundred, hundred five, hundred ten, even hundred twenty years. Can you name the place where or the nation, the nation which people live the longest? I want to see your answers in the chat box. Please type the name of the country in which people live the longest. The longest. Okay. Wow. Japan, Japan, Finland, Japan. Oh, oh, great. Japan. So many people have got the right answer. Yes, it is Japan. I agree. Again, within Japan, can you can you also uh, name the exact place? Exact place. Here, the people live with so much of peace, happiness, contentment, and prosperity. Japan is the right answer. And tell me the place, exact place, the area where again not all over Japan. Within Japan, there's a place called Okinawa. Okinawa. Okinawa is the place where people live. The longest. Great, thank you, thank you very much. That's the way the people, you know, for more than two thousand years, they are living very peacefully, happily, contented, and that place. They because because they are living so long because it's not a once in time. They have a system. It's some kind of protocol. It's some kind of philosophy. This kind of culture. They live like that. It is ingrained in their personality. It is ingrained in their personality. That's how they are able to live so long. And here is a Japanese word. Can you, Oginawa? Correct. Yes, yes, Oginawa. Right. Yeah. Now tell me. Um, can you read this Japanese word? Is there anybody who can read this Japanese word? Let me see. There may be somebody. There may be somebody. I'm just waiting for that. Okay. 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 I appreciate. I appreciate your um, your open answer. I don't know Japanese too. I, you know, it's just a guess, you know. Okay, great. Thank you very much. That's where it is. Ik e guy. Ik e guy. Ik e guy. The word is pronounced as ik e guy. Ik e guy. Ik e guy. Can you type that in the chat box? Ik e guy. Ik e guy. Icky guy, icky guy. Great. Now, what does it mean? What does it mean, icky guy? Icky guy is a Japanese word. Japanese word. Okay. And there's a book. There's a book written with the title "Icky Guy: The Japanese Secret to a Long and a Happy Life." Icky guy. Icky means life alive. Guy means effect, result. Okay, ikki means life, being alive, being alive. Guy means effect, result, reason. So ikki guy means being the the reason for being alive. Why are you alive? What is the purpose of your life? In French, they call it raison d'être. Raison d'être, the reason for your very existence. What is that? The purpose of life. The people here. Who live in this Okinawa? Okinawa. They ask them those four questions when they are engaging them those in their work. What the kind of work they do? They ask four questions. First, first question: Whether you love it or what do you love it? If you are loving it, are you good at it? Or what are you good at it? And what does whether the people need that or they don't need it? And if you are doing that work. Whether people are willing to pay you for that, okay? When they answer all these four questions, the answers they get, they invite them, they they take these things into consideration when they want to live their life. When they want to live their life, okay? So there it is. There it is. Look at that. So there are four things. There is a there is an upper upper um, uh, circle here. There is a lower circle here. Circle in the left. Circle in the right. So first, let us look at the circle in the top. What you love? What do you love? The thing that you love most. 
the work that you love most any amount of time you invest in that it, you know you don't get tired of do you don't you don't get tired of doing it you don't get you don't get you know uh, exhausted of doing it you when you do it you want to do it more and more and more because you love doing it you love doing it you enjoy doing it that is what great you love it the second thing is are you good at it maybe you love you love accounting you love you love you love um, um, psychology or you love um, you love uh, computer programming or you love uh, spirituality or you love learning a piano or you love learning a violin or you love singing whatever it is what is that you love great now the second thing is are you good at it at the moment maybe if you're not good at it if you're not good at it today you can acquire that okay i love it let me work on it let me become good at it you have to be good at it you have to be good at it soon or later then sit then okay you love it and you're also very good at it whether the world needs that the world should be having a need for that so if the world doesn't need it you love it you are good at it and people don't need it it doesn't mean much so you have to ask your question whether the world also needs that kind of thing from you great the world also needs the world wants you love it you're good at it but the important thing is are you getting paid for it can you get paid for it can you get money for it because you after all you require money to live to survive and to grow and to become better you also need money so you have to get money you have it has to be paid for he let us see when you put these four circles to one place and intersect them there are four different intersections that comes so let us look at this this upper intersection of this place this place that is between passion and mission there is a small intersection if you look at the intersection in that intersection the bottom circle is missing you love it you're good at it people want it but you're not getting paid for it so what happens you will get delight you will get fullness but no wealth paisa nahi hai wahan pe great now take this intersection here here you know this circle the world needs is missing in this in this intersection the world needs is missing so you have what you love you have, you have what you good at it and the world also you can can pay for it but thing is the world doesn't require it the world doesn't require it so when the world doesn't require it to whom will you give it so you will have satisfaction but mere ko koi nahi chahte hai mere ko koi value nahi de rahe hai you feel sense of uselessness mera kaam kisi ko kaam mein aane wala nahi hai nobody needs me nobody values me because the world doesn't need it that's why you will go into this kind of feeling now come back come into this come into this uh, bottom one bottom one here here the circle of love is missing love is missing here you're comfortable you're getting paid for it paisa bhi hai sab kuch hai but the work that you want to do you're unable to do it so comfortable feeling of emptiness जब दिल के काम हम नहीं करते हैं देन यू फील एम टी यू गेटिंग पैसा आ रहा है काम आ रहा है पावर फेम एवरीथिंग बट यू डोंट लव इट एक्चुअली सो यू फील एम टी नाउ कमिंग टू द राइट साइड दिस वन दिस वन इन हुच यू आर नॉट गुड एट इट इन दिस इंटरसेक्शन यू लव इट एंड यू कैन बी पेड फॉर इट एंड द वर्ल्ड ऑल्सो रिक्वायर्स इट बट एक्चुअली यू आर नॉट गुड एट इट you don't have the required skills knowledge attitude techniques you don't have it when you don't have it what happens pata nahi you will go into some kind of uncertainty sense of uncertainty sense of uncertainty because you know you're not good at it people want it people are ready to pay for it but you're not good at it then this job may be there may not be there or uh, you know I, i may not get i may not get the orders for my services and all that and finally there is one intersection that ikigai intersection where all the four circles are passing through that is where that is where you know when you are there in the central intersection of ikigai that's what you now you are good at it and the world needs it and the world is willing to pay you for that that's where you find the ultimate delight the purpose of life you will lead a very happy healthy peaceful contented life are you with me Look at this. The purposeful life. Steve Jobs. What did he say? What is that? Let me see. Some people are mentioning something in the chat. Great, great. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. 
phenomenal participation i appreciate your participation so many people are chat writing that messages in the chat box wow super oh my god you are awesome you people are awesome thank you thank you so much look at these two great people one is steve jobs a great entrepreneur and another one a great scientist being the richest man cemetery doesn't matter to me going to bed at night saying yes we have done something wonderful that's what matters to me the purpose purpose nothing truly valuable arises from the ambition of me sense of duty 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 se kuch nahi hota it stems rather from love and devotion towards men and towards objective things ultimately jo kaam mai kar raha hu what is the purpose of this work ultimately it is helping i am into teaching i am teaching i am men i am mentoring the future citizens of this nation this teaching profession is the most noble profession in the world a divine profession mera pichli janam ka punya tha i might have done so much of punya in my previous life in this life i have become a teacher i am giving this thing to my students i love my job this is the ultimate thing are you loving your job are you happy at the end of the day when you go to your bed you have a sound sleep yes what is that what are the provision you are taking the purpose dekhna padega wahan pe you have to see the purpose you have to see the purpose 42 can you guess what this number 42 is what is this what does this number 42 on the slide mean to you can you make any wild guesses wild guesses number of 42 okay <laughs> Okay, okay. A uh, slide number PPT. PPT not visible. PPT visible, Abi. PPT should be visible to you. Okay, great, great. Let me tell you, my friends, my friends. This forty-two. You know. Uh, just let me take a look at the chart box and come back to here. Okay, forty-two life. Okay, great, great. Anyway, now I uh, let me reveal. Let me reveal what this forty-two is. Okay, forty-two is. Let me reveal this. Forty-two was my age when I discovered my Eki guy. I was in Mumbai. I was working for the German multinational company BASF. you know let me tell my own story a little bit i was born a very poor family very poor family and beyond plus to my parents had no money to pay my college fee so for my four years of bs agriculture a gentleman a, a gentleman from our village who had money with him he called me to his home and said from this day forward for the next four years till the time you complete your graduation come to me and ask me money and for the next 4 years he supported me and i completed my undergrad program and then i applied for my masters at indian agriculture research institute pusa institute near delhi for my masters and i was called for the interview but to go for the interview i had no money so i went to this gentleman for for one more time for the last time i requested him just give me enough money to travel to go there just give me enough money to buy only one way ticket there are two seats in the department of agriculture physics and out of those two seats one seat is mine i will get it just give me money enough to buy my one way ticket so i bought my one way ticket i packed my bags as if i had already got the seat and i know there will be 10 people called from different parts of the country for those two seats for the academic record we had 50% weightage those days and for the interview 50% so i was going for the interview i went there i got selected i stayed there i continued my education after my msc i joined for my phd and as part of my phd i was selected from iira to go to philippines international rice research institute to do my doctoral research so between the years 1985 and 88 two and a half years i was at international rice research institute in philippines doing my doctoral research came back i cracked the Agri Indian Agriculture Research Service examination with All India rank number one, and I got posted as a scientist in ICR Government of India job for one year. I was there for one year. I was there. I was there, but somehow those days I didn't. I was not quite excited about the kind of work that was available there. There was not much of work. Somehow I felt it was like a jobless job those days. So, मेरे को 
अच्छा नहीं लगा इतना पढ़ाई किया इतना अच्छी अच्छी जगह में पढ़ाई किया अभी कोई काम ही नहीं कर रहा हूँ क्या कर रहा हूँ लेट मी मूव द प्राइवेट सेक्टर सो आई लेफ्ट माई जॉब government of india job class one officer my first month salary was more than the first month salary of an ias officer because i joined with phd i got three increments extra even then i paid 12000 rupees to government of india said thank you for your job left it and moved to the private sector in private sector again itc limited for six and a half years the best of the job flying everywhere in the country staying in the best of the hotels from there i moved to another multi american multinational biotechnology giant monsanto i was there for 3 years as a regional product development manager and from there i moved to mumbai as a national manager for cyanamide agro in american multinational which is taken over by basf so my i know i was getting jumps from manager to regional manager to national manager covering india you know sri lanka bangladesh and all that you know position the salary increase was coming and i was in the best of the jobs in mumbai in 2002 in 2002 when i was 42 i was in a job of 80000 rupees salary a car at a company quarters company quarters i asked myself i asked myself am i doing the right thing is this the purpose of my life is this the purpose of my existence bhagwan ne mere ko is dharti par isliye laya ki ye job main karu iske liye pucha to i got different answers ye yeah, main gure de do you really love what i am doing is this the what world wants when i asked these four questions the answer was that i should not be doing that job that i was doing and that was a very difficult leaving a big multinational company a job highly paid highly respected leaving it is a difficult task but i was not loving it and i didn't feel good about doing it so i decided to resign from my job so i told my wife i want to go out and start doing something that i love doing i love doing which i'm passionate about it unfortunately she accepted she accepted and i resigned from my job and moved back to hyderabad that's where that's where the age of 42 when i asked these four questions and you don't have to wait till 42 you may be 20 now you may be 22 now you may be 32 now whatever may be the age you are you could ask these four questions because ultimately leading happy life is important i enjoy my work i love my work i am getting paid very well i get paid highly for my services and the world needs needs the kind of services that i offer and i am also good at it right so i am all these four come four answers i am getting an affirmative answer so i moved on to that i was grooming my skills over the years and uh, that's how i moved forward so my question to you now is to so find the purpose your ikigai what is your ikigai guy your passion and what you are very good at it and when well, you must be checking with the world needs it and you will be paid for it so uh, along with that your purpose your values your culture your traditions all these things you have to keep in mind so that there is no confusion there is no dilemma in the mind and you can lead a happy and contented life you can lead a happy and contented life right so these are the four questions So can I ask you now to open your notebooks? Uh, I hope you have been here. You have opened your notebooks and you have been writing. You have been noting down the points that I have been telling you. But now I would like to request you to specifically, um, you know, uh, maybe this this is an exercise which you have to do, which you have to do, you know, sitting all by yourself quietly in a room, having maybe half cup of coffee or tea in your hand, and quietly think about it. Right? But but as an exercise, I want you to do now. Write down. what do you love doing one or two things i want you to write what do you love doing first thing the kind of work that you love doing singing dancing acting teaching playing painting research scientist discovery i don't want to spoil your mind now go ahead and write down write down just look within look within 
ask yourself really really what is that work that you do it and despite doing it again and again you can you would love to do more and more great having done that great now what are you really good at it great these are the things that you love doing and you want to do it are you good at those things that when you do those things people the world will receive your services and the people will be willing to pay you for that may or may not be right if you are a student you are still acquiring you love it you love to become something you love doing that work and in order in order to do that work at least if you are not good at now you want to be good at you want to be good at it in the days to come because that's important it's not just enough you love it and you are not good at it so you have to be, you, you should be loving it in the first place and after having fallen in love and being in love with it you must understand that you must also become good at it right now the third question okay bhaiya i love it i will also become good at it but is duniya mein aisa koi log hai wo jo seva wo jo cheez main karta hu usko lene ke liye koi hai yahan pe whether the world needs it duniya chahte hai aise kaam दुनिया की भलाई के लिए दुनिया की सेवा करने के लिए ऐसी सेवा ऐसे काम वेदर द वर्ल्ड नीड्स इट यस ग्रेट फैंटास्टिक द वर्ल्ड आल्सो नीड्स इट सेवा करना फ्री में सेवा देंगे तो लेने के लिए तैयार है बट दैट इज नॉट यू कैन नॉट डू इट यू हैव आल्सो बी पेड फॉर इट यू शुड आल्सो बी रिवॉर्डेड फॉर इट सो यू मस्ट आस्क आई लव इट आई वांट टू बी गुड एट इट आई एम गुड एट इट और आई विल बिकम गुड एट इट आई नो वेरी वेल this 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 thing will have lot of demand in the world people want this and i can provide this great now the question is for providing that which you love and you good at it whether you will be rewarded yes fantastic that is your ikki guy ikki guy are you with me i hope you have written the answers for these four questions take time but i would encourage you after this webinar nowadays with god's grace you have lot of time take time for yourself speak to yourself and answer these questions answer these questions in black and white on paper write something you don't like it knock it off rewrite it knock it off rewrite it until you say yes this is it take papers paper and pen in your hand and write answers for these questions and write rewrite rewrite write and rewrite till the time till the time you feel that yes this is it. this is exactly what i want okay that's the thing ek hi guy having understood that any questions here let me just stop here and check if there are any questions here let me take a look at the chart box let me take a look at the chart box okay please repeat the question sir okay so the question first question is what do you love doing as a work as a life's purpose what do you love aap kya kaam karne mein pasand karte hain what do you love what do you love doing it what do you what is that work you do it and you never get tired because you love it so much and the work is not work at all for you and that work when you love it the work will not become work the work will become a pleasure wow somebody said when my students have to complete their graduation it must be forever will be my reward absolutely sure sir that is there sir that is there the reward the satisfaction i am asking specifically here paise ki bhi zarurat hai so to support your family to buy your house to buy the luxuries or some of the things to lead a good life you need money you need money so the reward tangible rewards intangible rewards are there i know satisfaction that bliss that happiness that we are is good is good but at the same time i am asking you the world also should be willing to pay money for that that's the fourth question whether the world will pay you for that satisfaction is there great thank you very much absolutely we have to go by that that is ultimate that is ultimate reward but you also see that you are getting satisfaction but at the same time you must get enough money great great okay thank you 
Thank you for your participation. Now let's move on to the presentation. It's already okay. I want to give you. I want to give you now some special, some tools, some tips, something. Take care of yourself. Using the challenge as a motivation. Sometimes certain challenges will demotivate us. Certain challenges can motivate us. But whatever may be the challenge, can you convert that challenge into a motivation? Into a motivation. Can you convert a challenge into motivation? Because somebody says, yes, you can do it. Great. Oh, fantastic. You are capable and all that. Fine. Somebody is motivating you. Great. We are all motivated. But sometimes people will tell you, yeah, this is not for you. You cannot do it. You are not capable of it. And some people will tell you, will challenge you, will be speaking with you in some kind of, you know, disempowering mode. But can you convert? That challenge is a motivation. I want to share, just to clarify this, I want to share an example with you. I was a mediocre student, hardworking student, but not a great student in terms of scoring marks and all that. You know, tough time, you know. I, I was in my plus two. I was in my class 2 between 1975 and 77. I could not join the hostel because the hostel would cost me 110 rupees per month, which I didn't have money. So I searched for in the town, the small town. I searched for a room which will not have electricity, which will not have a water connection, which will not have a bathroom, which will not have a toilet, which will not have anything except four walls and a door. That's it. And that's where I had studied my two years of intermediate course, those days we call it. And I was getting, you know, those days, it's a two-year examination. At the end of the second year, only the final exams will be held and those marks will be considered for your, you know, further advancement. Always I was getting, out of 600, I was getting 300 plus marks. 300, less than 290, 300, 310. Second class marks are less than second class marks, but never first class marks. First class means 60%. I was getting less than 50%. So my aunt who was there, you know, the final exams are approaching, maybe in another four to five months, the final exams will be there. There's a time she complained about me to my parents who came there. And she said, you know, if he gets first class, I will get my ear cut. In Telugu, she said, Vidiki, first class was there. This is what she said. That means if he gets first class, I'll, that means he will not get it. There's no way. The way he's studying, the way he reads, the way he does, he will not get first class. If he gets it, I'll cut it. Means I know my, I don't have to cut my hair because he's not going to get it. Come on, if you can get it and show me. This is the kind of challenge she had thrown. It could be demotivating. My aunt, close on like my guardian there in that in that town, she assessed me and she said he cannot get it, he won't get it. That's what that's the statement. But I took that as a challenge. I took that as a challenge. I wanted to prove myself for the next four months. I studied in that manner. You would not believe I not only got first class, I stood third in the college. I scored so high marks that with those marks, directly I got admission into B.S. Agriculture at Agricultural College, Babatla. So, my friends, what I'm trying to, what am I trying to convey here? The challenge, sometimes life throws challenges at you. People throw challenges at you. The situation in which you are throws challenges at you. Can you take the challenge as a motivation instead of getting depressed, motivated, and getting stuck? That's the question I'm asking you. I want all of you to quickly read the sentence I'm going to flash on the screen now. I want you to read this and write it down. What is the sentence? There's a sentence here. What is the sentence? Write it please in the chart box. Okay, let me see the answers. Let me see the answers. This is here. 
O P P O R T U N I T Y I S N O W H E R E. So for somebody said opportunity is no van. Well, the somebody said opportunity is now here. The sentence is same. When you are reading, opportunity is and no, you stop there and then you move further. He said you will be reading. But if you are a bit patient, you are a bit patient and read and take a look at it again, observe it closely, and then it so it shows that opportunity is now here. Mauka abhi yaha pe. Kabi kabi lagta hai, aye yar, opportunity is nowhere. कहां पे भी कोई अपॉर्चुनिटी मौका ही नहीं है दिस इज नो अपॉर्चुनिटी एट ऑल अपॉर्चुनिटी इज नॉट देयर बट द अपॉर्चुनिटी इज नाउ हियर ओके नाउ वी हैव ओनली हाफ एन आवर लेफ्ट 30 मिनट्स लेफ्ट लेट्स मूव क्विकली फर्दर ओके ऑन द स्क्रीन यू आर सीइंग द पिक्चर ऑफ अ पर्सन कैन यू रिकॉग्नाइज दिस पर्सन एंड आई एम गोइंग टू द Yeah. Oh yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's my picture. That's true. That's true. It's me. It's me way back in 1984. 1984, in my hostel room at Indian Agricultural Research Institute, popularly known as Pusa Institute. That is my hostel room, my table and chair. You know, I went to IRI with the aspiration of becoming a civil servant. and i was preparing for my civil services and also my forest service forest service indian forest service as preparing i gave an attempt in 1983 my first attempt for indian for cracking the indian forest service and the first attempt i did not get the call for the interview in the second year 1985 in 1985 i wanted to crack it by all means by any means and i felt i must crack it i must crack it so i was i completed my phd course work and i was to start my research work but if i start my research work i would be distracted from my preparation for indian forest service and i had my own time table every morning when i get up what are the things to be covered i had a weekly monthly entire calendar is there for my preparation i was preparing my phd research advisor sent me a word to see him so i went to the department and i met him he said shiva prasad you are a phd scholar now we have to start doing your research work it's already zoom you have to start taking the rice nursery trials so you have to start the research work then i told him sir i have an ifs examination in july in july i'll complete that after completing my ifs examination every day i will come and i'll be totally on my research work but till that time i want to be studying my uh, preparing for my forest service examination he said no 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 by that time it will be late it will be late and if you if you take up this experiment the rice crop will not flower even if it comes to flowering the flowering will not set the grain so your crop will be failure your experiment will be failure so you have to start the trials in june itself no sir i cannot do it because my career is important for me i have to crack this time my forest service examination so you know he was trying to convince me then he complained to the professor then professor called me and professor called me and then again he called me then i told him sir if i have to do these trials in june Yes, sir. I will do them in June, but not this year. I will do it next year. But right now, my total focus is on forest service examination, and I have to crack it. So I went by what is the a, a principle called W I T. W I T. Can anybody expand what W I T is? I wanted to become a forest officer. I wanted to crack the forest service examination. So I went by this principle of W I T. W I T is whatever it takes. Whatever it takes, I will become this. I want to become this. I will do everything and anything that is needed that for me to become this. Whatever it takes, I will become. Whatever it takes 
I will get. So whatever it takes, I am prepared to pay the price. I am willing to pay the price. I want to pay the price. In order, I know, in order to get something, I have to pay the price. And whatever it takes, whatever the price I have to pay, I will pay and I want to become what I wanted to become. That's what I followed and I, you won't believe, I cracked the Indian Forest Service examination. Not only that, many other examinations, I cracked the Banking Service examination, I stood first in the country in the ARS examination, I cracked the Staff Selection Board Commission and I got selected as an Indian Air Force um, the pilot officer, pilot officer in Indian Air Force, SSB in Dehradun, five days examination, medicals, everything cleared. So you got WIT? So think of it, whatever that you want to do, you must be willing to do. You must tell yourself, I will become whatever it takes. Can you say that? I always I want you to open your mouth and say loudly that you can hear your voice. I will do whatever it takes. Fantastic. You are awesome. You must tell this. You must tell this to yourself time and again. And another thing, while I was preparing, working so hard, Working so hard is important, but always I had on my table two things. One thing on the left, a small white cotton box. On the right side, a clock, an alarm clock. On the left side, on this white board, you can see that I have written there, how am I doing? I ask this question repeatedly, day in and day out, whenever I was sitting there on the table. Yes, I'm doing great. I'm doing a lot of things, but how am I doing those things? Whatever I was doing. How was I doing? Whatever I am doing, how am I doing? That is important. How am I doing? How? How? What you are doing is one thing, but how you are doing is important. Because I will tell you, I will tell you here. There are things that we do every day. There are things that we do every day. There may be right things, there may be wrong things. Right things are the things that give you better results or higher. Right things are those things that will pay you off. That will give you what you want. Those are the right things. Wrong things are those things that won't give you good results. But we will be doing some things which give the best outcome. Certain things which won't give that much outcome. We invest our time. Okay, that's what you are doing. But whatever you are doing, how you are doing it. You may be doing it in the right way. You may be doing it in the wrong way. If you are doing the right things in the right way, you get the perfect result. RTR, right things. Right way, you get the best results. Right things means things you should do because we do those things, you get the best outcome. But you get the right outcome only when you do those right things also in the right way. Suppose you are doing the right things, you should be doing those things. But the way you are doing it, the way of doing it, how you are doing it is wrong. That means RTW, right things, wrong way. Results will not come. Your time will be spent. Your money will be spent. Your efforts will be spent. You won't get the result. And there are lower quadrants, two quadrants, wrong things, right way, wrong things, wrong way. Wrong things, whether do it in the right way or wrong way, they won't give you much outcome. So you tell me, in which of the quadrants you think you should be putting yourself in? We are all engaged. You, me and everyone, every day we are engaged in doing these four things. We are engaged in doing right things in the right way. We are also engaged in doing the right things in the wrong way. We are also engaged in doing right, wrong things in the right way. And also W to W, wrong things in the wrong way. We are all doing it. But what is important here is the quantum of time, the percentage of time in which quadrant you are spending, that determines your success. Tell me, the successful person spends maximum amount of time in which quadrant? Let me see in the chart box what you are writing there. Fantastic. Right things, right way. Right things, right way. Sure. I agree with you. You are absolutely right. You are absolutely right. Right things, right way. That is the quadrant where we must be investing. So it is not only what we are doing. It is also important to check how we are doing it. So we should be engaging ourselves in doing those right things in the right way so that we get the best results. So doing the right things. The right I want you to write down, you know, what are the things presently you think in this period, at this present time, what are the things you are doing the right things and also in the right way. Suppose you are spending so much of time in, you know, in WhatsApp, in WhatsApp, it's a wrong thing to do, isn't it? 
so much of time in social media okay you can spend some time if it's a restricted amount of time for a purpose then this is the right thing but if it is excess amount of time and that too you are doing it in the wrong way in the in an inappropriate time it becomes the wrong thing in the wrong way as well so please see that what is that you are spending where you are not ambiguity and uncertainty these are the times there is ambiguity i agree with you there is uncertainty i agree with you and these are the times what is important is the trust 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 on your college trust on your family members trust on your friends and family members and trust in god trust in god will take us through another the important thing is caring for the small things these are the small things that matter a lot in the present time for your happiness for your success small things you don't have to look for big big things in smaller things small in, with a good intent with a good intent you cut the fruit and share it with your family members you give a smile you have a grandmother grandfather go there sit next to them take their hand give a gentle touch and ask them care for them you know care for them and give a give something that they like you know these are the little smaller things that you do will go along at this point in time and here the important thing is becoming a quick change artist the time has now come we have to change very quickly we didn't anticipate we didn't expect these things and the whole environment has changed and i think after this covid after this the lockdown period when we all come out the way the world is going to be it's going to be totally different there are phenomenal changes and we can't be the way we lived before we have to change a lot we have to change the way we learn we have to change the way we teach we have to change the way you know we we look at the world we deal with the people it's going to be a different thing and in this we don't have much time to to you don't have much learning curve here you have to learn these things very fast till yesterday i was an offline trainer i used to conduct my classes in the classrooms hotels and offices of the corporate clients i never did online trainings before and this is the third webinar that i am already doing i'm already i am conversant with different platforms zoom cisco webex google meet and every opportunity learning i have to learn i cannot say that i am wonder oh this online thing does not work i want to be an offline trainer i have to change you have to change the way you learn you have to change the way you teach you know you have to be willing to change you may be a person who is highly socializing who wants to meet people who will be totally uncomfortable being alone you want to be with the people love the people work with the people but now but now you have to maintain the distance and all that you things will happen so you have to understand this man can you recognize him on the screen who is that yes usain bolt usain bolt earned millions and millions of dollars millions 300 500 million dollars he won that was his income that he earned from the races that he ran and how many minutes he ran it is less than 3 minutes that he ran for this millions of dollars there's 9.89 seconds in beijing olympics when he clocked and won the olympic gold and he again repeated that again repeated that for more than 16 golds olympic gold a single man winning more than that people asked him what is the secret of your success of course it included months and years of sweating on the track there sweating is not the those of the few minutes of the success but behind that success there's months and years of hard effort that went into in order to make him what he what he was but he was asked one key factor that contributes his success is as he takes off as he takes off he visualizes he visualizes himself running towards the race and hitting that ribbon hitting the ribbon he is the first man hitting and breaking the ribbon he visualizes his success path that he is head of everybody and everybody is behind him he is the first man hitting the ribbon he visualizes his success god has given you the power of visualization power of imagination you can see closing your eyes you can see you can visualize the things and it has a lot of power so start visualizing this is how the world is connected already this is the world wide web and it's important for us to use this web and to build our network after all your network is going to be your network 
network works it is important for us to build our network go on to it's not only social media facebook network you go on to linkedin linkedin.com and become a professional networking on phone through whatsapp whatever it is the professional the person you want to become the kind of field that you have interest build your network it is here is the opportunity for you to do network when one door closes another door opens when one door closes there is another door open already but people keep looking at the closed door so long so much with so much of desperation and frustration they will not be able to see the door that is already open to them god has already opened a door a better door a right door sometimes people <clears throat> they look at the doors that is closed because it is a very good door very good door and the door got closed <clears throat> so it's so good they felt so good with that but the important thing is there is a better door that is open there it opens there it opens for you too it is there the opportunity is there so we should be looking at those doors we should not be blind to them we should not be looking at the only closed door repenting and uh, you know going to getting stuck there being a teacher being a student is important for us to acquire new skills it's connect udemy coursera udemy is offering now courses wonderful courses for 360 rupees a course 420 rupees there is a course excellent courses go there browse and select the best course and you know these are the times where to skill up upskilling somebody wrote already in the chat box upskilling this is the time for us we have got so much time <coughs> we are blessed with time we are blessed with time to upskill we are blessed with, blessed with the time to spend with our family members we are blessed with time that we can use for networking for being with our family for upskilling ourselves it's important and this is the time for you i want you to give a thought to think about to think of what are the goals that you want to achieve goals you want to achieve during this year can you write down open your notebooks and write down two goals two goals two or three goals that you want to achieve this year write it down in your notebook two or three goals that you want to achieve this year Are you writing? Yes, great. <clears throat> tell me your network. I shall be able to tell your network. Fantastic! Wow, superb, extraordinary contributions here. Learn new things. Be with my family. Know more about my and myself. Yes, fantastic. That's what your goals are. Thank you for sharing. Do be excellent. Complete my book. Somebody, Malapaji, is writing a book and he wants to complete his PhD. Submit his PhD thesis. Fantastic! Oh, this kind of motivation will be not the need of the hours. Thank you. C A complete chit 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 chitras thing. The beggar says C A and PhD. Fantastic! Crack my competitive examination. Vijay Kumar, completion of PhD, become an orator, doing my more research, writing an article and publishing it. Shivangi Tare. Serving my nation anyway, anyway. By some way, I want to serve my nation. Oh my God! Sure. Clearing the net examination, which is there in June, July. Ashoka Ji wants to clear the net. Please clear the net. You will become a lecturer, assistant professor in the government college. Sure. And Dr. Rakesh Ji, complete my book. This is the time to write my your book. I just completed my one book, One Not Eight Thoughts. and i am now writing by the end of this month i want to complete my second book yes you can also write write your book oh my god i am so happy that you are <coughs> sharing your goals writing your goals how beautiful it is you know when you are writing your goals wo par se bhagwan bol rahe hain tadastu Once you have written it there, I'm telling you, fifty percent of it you have already accomplished it. Write and publish papers in Scopus Index. Motivate people as you do. Thank you, superb, my brother. Thank you. Complete net JRF. Complete one book. Publish one research article. Mini na anara se. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Oh my God. God bless you. 
you are awesome you are all awesome you are phenomenal you are phenomenal great job let's get back to ppt let's get back to ppt we have another 10 minutes left so another thing my dear friends tlc tlc what is the full form of tlc 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 i want to see what is the full form of tlc somebody can um tiller chromatography oh my god yeah 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 that you you are you are um, uh, biotechnologist uh, molecular biologist tlc means that teaching learning teaching learning and communication teaching learning center of oh, fantastic wow great indira sirisha ji wants to learn driving fantastic ma'am go ahead yes think learn great okay let me clear this we don't have much time and that is that is tender loving care tender loving care what is that t for tender l for loving c for care tender loving care yes exactly tender loving care that you can offer to others your own family members if you're married a spouse your children to your children if your parents to your parents grandparents those people the important thing is giving the tender loving care when you're giving tender loving care for others the platinum rule is the platinum rule is be kind to be kind unto yourself as you are to others yes be kind to others but be kind to yourself too be kind to yourself too you deserve kindness you deserve care you deserve love you deserve love i am going to show you a video now that we the title of the video is the greatest love of all the title of the video is the greatest love of all sung by whitney houston whitney houston an american pop singer i want you to i want you to see this uh, um, song enjoy this song the lyrics will be there at the bottom of the song and you will find the pictures of a great person by name nick vijishich who was born without limbs without hands without legs but he is a great person he traveled to more than 50 countries he wrote books he is married having kids he is a great motivator he is a great speaker he enjoys having no hands and no legs and he believes that god has given him that kind of birth for a purpose and he is fulfilling that purpose and you will see the pictures of that man in this video but the song is sung by whitney houston america's greatest pop singer enjoy the song and at the end of this song you have to write in the chat box what love is the greatest love for wow 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 my goodness phenomenal hope you enjoyed the song the melody the music now tell me which love is the greatest love for in the chat box please which love you think is the greatest love of all Are you writing in the chat box? Love yourself. God's love, family love. Yes, they're all important. But ultimately, learning to love yourself, the first love, love, love thyself, love thyself absolutely before you loving others. Unless you love yourself, you'll never be able to love other people. So the important thing is loving yourself. Loving yourself is important. So. So my question to you is you like to love yourself more and more from today say yes in the chat box would you like to learn to love yourself more and more from today you deserve it you love others but at the same time love yourself take good care of yourself treat yourself with care treat yourself with kindness treat yourself with tender love you deserve you deserve the tender love and care Yes. Great. Thank you. You deserve that. You deserve that. You love yourself. You love your college. You love your family members. You love the course that you want to pursue. You love the profession that you have taken. That love, 
makes everything easier and happier that's important okay now finally before we close i want you to do a small activity open your notebook now what would you like to do now in your notebook and what is the way forward now we are going through this corona lockdown we may continue for some more time and we are doing online classes and we are taking online classes you are doing your classes online and your teachers are helping you as a teacher you are helping the students and you are doing thing and you, you, you have to do research you have to complete your thesis you should be publishing your papers and there's so much of work with you and also now keeping this everything in mind and you are awesome you are born to succeed you are born to live and live your purpose and we have gone through the entire training session for 2 hours now i want you to write down in black and white now itself quickly a few things that you would like to do from this day forward from this day forward from today onwards these are the things that i would like to quickly start doing things what are that please write it now i'm giving you 2 minutes time please do this myself learning new skills okay learning new skills love mother nature okay reading and clearing exams very good ashoda ji all the best to you please but but write it down which exams by when when is that exam write down the name of the examination and also the date by which you want to clear you must put a date in each of these things that you are writing upskilling okay great upskilling smita smita things upskilling fantastic but what skills what skills and uh, uh, by which date and you put the dates and also through through which means okay great gaining and sharing knowledge get for get for arm for one for one clearing ca by 2023 you will do it nagarjuna you will clear it man write it down in your diary you will clear it use this in net chandu you will do it and you will clear it baji want to clear the net and also phd by 2020 end you will do it write it down om prakash ji writing the book please write this in black and white in a notebook open a book and call this my dream book my goal book in that book write these things in black and white in black and white write it down and sign below that and you will be achieving them fantastic thank you very much let's move forward let's move forward we are going to close it soon let's move forward so congratulations everybody congratulations you successfully complete you are here you are here for 2 hours and you have successfully completed this webinar and you are going to get the certificate congratulations now i have a few questions to ask you you answer the questions in the chat box are you a winner kya aap ek winner ho Second question: Are you a champion? You are a champion. Are you the God's best? You are the God's best. That master craftsman has created you, the masterpiece. You are a masterpiece. You are the God's best in creating you. He has not done anything wrong. You are the best. You are the best. You are now on the edge. It's now time to take the flight. You are like an eagle on the top of the mountain. You have everything. You are equipped. You are equipped. You are the best. Take the flight, and even sky is not the limit for you. Sky is even not the limit for you. Go for your goals with passion. Put in excellence in every effort. Go for your goals with passion. Tamanna se kam karo. Put in excellence in every effort. And my friends, your success is guaranteed. Hundred percent. So let us summarize today's webinar. Disasters come and go. Disasters come and we shall overcome. Disruptions happen, but those disruptions, like COVID-19 disruptions, we take advantage. We drive discoveries. We invent mechanisms. We come up with with innovations and inventions so humans can live better life. The worst enemy could be made the best friend. the mind could be the worst enemy but this mind can be made the best friend and it is in your hands winning over self is the ultimate victory it is not winning over the world winning over the enemy somewhere winning over self all the self limiting beliefs clearing those beliefs self limiting beliefs and whenever there is a self limiting belief coming up or popping up we will tell that thank you for sharing i know what i am 
Thank you for sharing. Those self-limiting beliefs, thoughts might come from within or even from outside. We will utter the word. Thank you for sharing. I know. We will move from fear zone to learning zone. If you have already moved from learning zone, this is the zone where you have to learn and equip yourself because the growth zone is waiting for you. We also learned today what Ikigai is. Ikigai, the Japanese term, the reason for existence. Bhagavan Amko is that the price and he is not an extraordinary purpose. You are an extraordinary person. You are brought onto this world with an extraordinary purpose. And that knowing that purpose is important. Knowing that purpose is important. Take advantage of this COVID period to understand what is the real true purpose of your life. And the purpose of your very existence on this planet. And now for that, we have seen the four questions. Do you love doing it? What are you good at it? What the world needs? Are you going to be rewarded for that? And we also get so many challenges, but we will use every challenge not to demotivate us, only to motivate us, we will use it. Opportunity is now here. WIT. Whatever it takes, I am willing to pay the price, but I want to become this. I want to get this. Whatever it takes. Remember, WIT. Aptia, yes, we will do right things, but we will also be careful in doing them in the right way. So we will engage ourselves mostly I'm not saying 100%. Nobody will be up there 100%. But at least mostly, maximum consciously, we will do the right things, which will be the right outcomes for us, and we will also do them in the right way. <coughs> we also trust ourselves. We trust of our future. We learn to learn to change fast. Visually, with the power of visualization, networking, digital, going digital, goals, and ultimately we have seen learning to our, our <coughs> learning ourselves. He is the greatest of all and also giving the tender love and care to our family members is very important. So my question to you, has today's session helped you gain confidence? Yes, sir. Are you feeling motivated? Yes, sir. Are you feeling yes, equipped? Sir. Are you feeling yes, equipped? Sir. Um, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Armed yourself with some tools for your greater success? Yes, sir. Giving you the confidence to move forward? Yes, yes sir. sir. Will you use the learning and inspiration that you got from this session for your success? Yes, sir. For your family success? Yes, sir. Fantastic. So have you got the value for the two hours time you spent here? Yes, sure, yes, sir. Did you enjoy the session webinar? Yes, sir. So what do you say? Is it very good or excellent? Yes. Excellent, awesome. sir. Awesome. Excellent, sir. You are awesome. You are extraordinary. Yes. Thank you very much for your participation. Thank you. God Thank bless you. you. Love you all. You are awesome. Thanks to BLDEA for giving this wonderful gift of coming together you know, seeing each other, learning from each other. Thank you so much. Thank you for the so much of inspiration. Thank you for your participation. So much of chart box. You, you type so many messages. I want to see each and every message of that. And thanks to Bhakti ma'am. She created a WhatsApp group. You want some questions, something you want to share. Please go to the WhatsApp group and share. We are with you. We want you to be successful. Thanks to principal sir. Thanks to Billy. Thanks to all the team members of Dr. Bhakti ma'am who made this webinar possible. Thank you, everybody. Take Thank good you so care much. of yourself. You are awesome. God bless you. Love you all. Take care. You are awesome. And now, any of you would like to put something in your chat box, most welcome. Most welcome. Are you to ask any questions or to make any suggestions? If somebody wants to say something, Bhakti ma'am can uh, unmute them or you can unmute yourself. Come yeah, and speak. Sir. Yeah, sir. I will come. Uh, sir, really a uh, wonderful session by you. Uh, sir, I will come back to you and to the participants. So let us have a presidential remark from our principal. Sure. I'll come back you. to you after two minutes. Uh, now you. I would like to invite on the screen Dr. Richam Mujahur, the principal of our college. Sir, please be on the screen. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, one day, let's look at the Arming for the great research is much interesting. COVID 19 or four words or these were clarity which was forgotten earlier. We have learned do right things in the right way, and the whole world is connected by visual networks. For this and uh, love ourselves. So, for this, thanks to Dr. Shiv Prasad, resource person, for this wonderful talk through webinar. And uh, coordinator webinar, Dr. Barthi Mart, 
madam taken lot of pain to conduct this program i thank her and i also thank for all participating in the mega webinar thanks thanks one and all thank, thank you sir thank you sir uh so before uh, wrap up the formal function just i want to i want to highlight uh, some few things and totally uh, we have got 620 registration uh, but we could not allow we could allow only 220 uh, might be uh, due to app issue and we have got the registration from karnataka madhya pradesh maharashtra uttar pradesh andhra pradesh rajasthan tamil nadu haryana west bengal and orissa Uh, it's a very proud moment uh, for our entire BLBS Pani College of Commerce. And uh, uh, shortly after the uh, completion of the session, we will generate. Uh, it's, it's for the participants. Uh, please kind attention all the participants. We will generate Google feedback form and uh, we'll post it into the WhatsApp group. Please fill the feedback form and uh, we'll get the e certificate. and for getting the e certificate it will take minimum one week to reach to your registered email id and whatever we had a live webinar session uh, it has been recorded uh, through youtube and we will uh, send the youtube link to the whatsapp and all here yes, and uh, this is my announcement so let me uh, give my gratitude to each and every one the first uh, first and foremost i'd like to extend my heartfelt thanks to the today's resource person dr shiva prasad who have wholeheartedly agreed to be the resource person for this live webinar without charging a single rupee as as we all know that as the whole world is uh, uh, thanking the doctors nurses paramedics uh, health workers and uh, police officers across the country in their fight against corona vi corona virus and trying to keep the people healthy apart from praising these many people we have to salute a teacher like dr shiva who have motivated the students and faculty to gain confidence think positive and gear up for great success in the days ahead thank you sir for sparing your thank valuable you. time with us thank you Thank you. Next, so I'd like to make this opportunity to place on record my hearty thanks to the president of today's program, Dr. H. M. Mujawa, principal of our college, the inspiration and backbone of today's program for extending the perfect logistic support and guidance required throughout the conduct of this live webinar. So, thank you very much. Uh, from the core of my heart, I would like to extend my heartfelt thanks to my technical team, Professor Prafulla Kapaki, Professor. Uh, B. Manguli, Professor Vinayak Chikradi sir, Professor Chidanand sir, who have uh, brought up this webinar on live here. Actually, uh, initially I thought to uh, bring uh, uh, Shiva sir as uh, uh, a guest lecture for my student. Later, uh, that guest lecture has been extended to this uh, uh, national level uh, live webinar here. And uh, in the same year, I have to thank uh, the staff of my department in the Inform department who have motivated and who have supported me. Uh, thank you, guys. And my special gratitude goes to Mr. Karthik and Mr. Sanmesh of BC students who have constantly helped me to bring the uh, this live webinar by making a brochure, registration form, Google registration form. Uh, without showing a single negligence of my every phone call because as we could not uh, uh, meet together to maintain the social distancing uh, they have helped me a lot here thank you students mr karthik and sagnesh of bca students last but not the least this program would not be successful without the participants i convey my sincere thanks to all the participants who are all joined across the state and thank you for your kind cooperation Uh, throughout the program and uh, not having a single disturbances really i was worrying about uh, these many people if they come uh, on the live webinar how could be the disturbance and all without having any disturbances uh, uh, we could arrange we could uh, uh, succeed at this program i think here and uh, i sorry for the people who have not able to attend the live webinar here and uh, uh, most uh, efficiently our uh, technical team have made an uh, alternative arrangement uh, like uh, uh, the live session has been converted into youtube here uh, uh, the youtube link i have provided uh, to the whatsapp group they so uh, they could uh, uh, see the uh, live webinar successfully here so oh. that, that 
they also we have such a wow the person, great they can uh, they have enjoyed the sessions uh, uh, just ultimately uh, have to thank my uh, technical team who have made yeah. such a narrative wow here. fantastic we have posted the link to the whatsapp group and they uh, they have enjoyed a live webinar oh oh i see uh, yes, that arrangement uh, we have made sir and uh, thank you and and all thank you shiva sir once again thank you and, uh, lastly i can say that uh, stay home be safe and maintain social distancing thank you thank you and and all we'll thank you it. thank you so much if somebody wants to speak let them speak man if somebody wants to speak you just you can unmute your audio and come to the screen those who wants to give the, the feedback unmute yeah somebody speaking man unmute and uh, uh, come on the screen thank you so much sir yes sir thank you so much sir hello yes sir yes sir please go ahead this is sir guru kulkarni sir thank you so much for your uh, your patience as well as your fabulous speech sir really it's a good time to spend a few hours with you sir oh, thank, thank you, you so much once so again much, thank you for excellent participation ravi sir thank so you so much sir thank, thank you. you for sharing your uh, feedback sir anybody else to share yes sir yes who who and who are this is ayma rajwadi okay you are introduce about yourself and come on the screen madam This is Garima Raju. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. 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 Yes
ma'am i am ma'am one yes, second ma sorry sorry ma'am i am able to see only my picture but not other picture anything <laughs> Uh, sir, uh, we are seeing everybody's picture here. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Now, okay. Now, uh, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, it was the content of the presentations and your the way you are delivered the speech it's very motivational sir and thank i thank uh, madam and uh, the bld team association for our organizing this wonderful session thank you everybody thank, thank you. you thank, thank you, you so much okay yaar yeah. yeah, anybody else anybody else hello 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 i am indira i am indira sirisha ma'am ma'am yes, namaste ma namaste india ma'am Uh, i i know shiva sir uh, from a long time he is a great motivational speaker and i am from hyderabad as well and uh, this seminar is very useful for all of us and thank you very much sir for giving us a wonderful speech and wonderful guidelines and your presentations were very awesome and you are also very awesome sir <laughs> thank you ma'am it is an honor to have you on this webinar ma'am thank you for taking time and being on the webinar i know you are also a great trainer and you are awesome ma'am thank you bharti ma'am for conducting yeah, such a session yes ma'am welcome welcome ma'am welcome yeah anybody else yes ma'am welcome ma'am anybody else hi sir good morning sir good good afternoon ma'am and sir good afternoon yes. I am from Maharashtra, sir. I have already conducted your session in Parvani College, sir. I am from Parvani College. Okay. Awesome, awesome, sir. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Thank, Thank you, sir. Bye. Thank you. God, that's all the best. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Salvi. Okay. Uh, Salvi, close the session. Uh, uh, I want to. Yes, uh, I'm inspired by uh, your words, sir. Thanks. And in this lockdown, we stuck in home, and uh, we are not able to do anything. And uh, laziness actually followed us. With your speech, we we are get we got motivated, and after lockdown, we'll definitely be the same as uh, as we are before the lockdown. Thank you so much, sir. Sure, sure. Thank You're you. Sir. Awesome. Sure, great. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Sir, it was awesome. Actually, your program was awesome. Uh, myself, I am Mahendra Reddy. My native is from Telangana state, ma'am. But I am studying in uh, Tamil Nadu state, uh, Tamil Nadu Agricultural University. I am doing a PhD, ma'am. PhD second year. Yeah. Actually, ahead. sir was conducted one work, uh, for conducted one workshop. It was uh, fabulous, uh, very excellent. Actually, not only myself, all or all Tamil Nadu state students and. Uh, Most of the Telugu, AP, and Telangana state students are fans, huge fans for sir. Actually, we feel that particularly myself, I feel that I missed. Means I want to once again, I want to meet sir. Yes, I want sir. to see you sir on the screen. But uh, you do, I'm, I got a good opportunity to see you sir on the screen. And uh, thank you very much for you, ma'am, and for your organizing committee. And uh, we are very happy to hear, and also thanks a lot for providing this opportunity for all people all over India without any cost. And uh, one more suggestion, ma'am, uh, is there any possibility to watch this video? I just said one link is there. Ah, yeah, so it's already uh, recorded, and uh, shortly we will send this uh, record through YouTube. Oh, sorry, oh, with the audio voice, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the video as well as audio, we have recorded it. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you, Mahendra. Thank you so much. You're thank awesome. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank Hello. 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 Yes, please. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Yeah, Hello. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I am audible. I am audible, sir. Yes, you are audible. Hello, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, please. Uh, sir, this is a minimum trainer, a PhD research scholar from Maharashtra Mp K V University, Maharashtra. Rahuri, Rahuri from Rahuri. Hello. Yes, yes, Rahuri, sir, Rahuri. Great, go ahead. 
थैंक यू सर फॉर गिविंग सच अ वंडरफुल अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर द लर्निंग सो इन दिस लॉकडाउन पीरियड एवरीवन आर वेरीज अबाउट व्हाट इज हैपेंड आफ्टर दिस लॉकडाउन बट फ्रॉम दिस युअर लेक्चर सर एवरीवन इज मोटिवेटेड एंड दे आर डूइंग दे आर डूइंग ग्रेट थिंग्स इन द फ्यूचर एंड दिस इज द ग्रेट सक्सेस ऑफ दिस वेबिनार या थैंक यू अंतर इंटेंशन तो यू आर ऑसम या थैंक यू ऑल द बेस्ट आगे आगे थैंक यू सो मच हेलो हेलो यस प्लीज गो अहेड यस हां सर गुड आफ्टरनून गुड आफ्टरनून गो अहेड हेलो या गो अहेड प्लीज हां गुड आफ्टरनून सर गुड आफ्टरनून गो अहेड या सर आई एम फ्रॉम महाराष्ट्र सर कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग अंबाजोगाई ओ वाओ Uh, and uh, very much uh, it is a uh, nice to meet you i am very much happy to the today session very inspiration and also very uh, uh, we are enjoying the session uh, your experience your knowledge your involvement i am very much happy for the today session and a uh, special thanks to the uh, bharti madam the organizer madam has touched it uh, since last one week madam taking a more effort yes. to the uh, technical when they taking the uh, trial uh, the demo session that time also i have participated there are various challenges the event organizing is not a joke it is a challengeable yes. event exactly. uh, uh, her dedication and her team of technical people with her uh, with her and also the principal of the college and management i am very much thankful to the all the people uh, to be successful this event thank you thank you so special, much uh, special thanks to the madam okay so nice thank you thank you you are, you are absolutely right thank you great thanks a lot for your wonderful comments i mean i mean what is yeah yeah you are you are audible audible oh, yeah madam oh, surya narayan sir surya sir surya sir please surya narayan yes. sir i think i have to place on record my heartfelt gratitude for the academic and administrative leadership that you people have demonstrated i think i must be one of the few participants today who must have visited in person your college premises and the presence thereof enjoyed your hospitality enjoyed thoroughly by sitting through one day long fdp that you conducted immediately before the lockdown you're really lucky to have had the pleasure and uh, it was a proud privilege to have shared the accommodation with the trainer who i never knew before but who was kind enough to really give me an opportunity to be with him travel with him go back uh, to hyderabad uh, and uh, looking forward to many more such opportunities today your webinar has proved a point that learning curves are not necessarily made inside the classrooms even a webinar not necessarily a seminar or a conference or a colloquium even symposium or a workshop fdp or mdp even the webinar is is or can be a good platform for all of us uh, to make some learning curves hats up to madam excellent team thank you sir thank you sir and and, uh, and uh, technical support once again congratulations to the speaker for his insight and uh, knowledge and wisdom thank you sir all the best all the best thank all the best honor honor to have you on the webinar uh, uh, sir sir uh, thank you thank so you, much sir. whole heart again congratulations you sir thank keep you. going keep talking like this uh, like i see that indefatigable energy it doesn't drop uh, as usual it is infectious uh, i am like that uh, and then i am lucky to find another person good. thank you sir i don't want to take much of time thank, thank you, you best, madam excellent 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 thank you sir you made, thank my, you day. You made, you made my day you made my day. thank you sir okay. take care thank you ma'am okay sir right thanks a lot it was a fantastic webinar well organized congratulations to you and all the oh, team members only only because of your kind support and all i could arrange this live while uh, live webinar sir thanks my sincere uh, my sincere gratitude to principal mujawar sir and also uh, kulkarni sir and also your your uh, whole organization ma'am